let's talk draft. 11 picks, all after 98. What are the three most important positions the Niners need to address in this draft? Like, they got three-thirds. What should they take? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty boring up until that point, and then we're going to get so excited when three out of four picks are the 49ers. The end of that third round, I can't wait for it. Assuming they don't trade up. I think the three most important positions of need, I'm going to go number one, safety. Because right now, I mean, they're relying on on a 33-year-old who had arguably the best year of his career. I don't know if I would rely on that again and also health from both of those guys. So they need a safety. They need somebody that can come so in Sean and Sean Gibson's a little legend that could, though, man. That guy's been beating the odds since 2014. <laughs> oh, for anyway, sure. Come on. For sure. I love but Deshaun. He's even, great. Let, let's say the, they both stay healthy, which would be ideal. They're going to need somebody next year. And so no now doubt. is the You're time right. to start. You're right figuring that out so i would say safety Mm -hmm. i would then probably say edge and then outside corner no love for drake jackson huh i do love drake jack but they don't have any depth there grant i mean who's the depth depth there like there's no like cleveland (laughs) farrell sorry cleveland yeah you're right that's a big one that's a big one so I mean I I could go back and forth between the outside so what, what, corner. I, I cut edge. you off. What was it? What was after Drake? What was after DN? Outside corner. Okay. Okay. They need another corner. Okay. I mean, because who's the first one off the Ambry Thomas, Bontrez Knight? I mean, maybe they can Sam be good, Womack. but but he's more of a. I think he's in a play inside. I, I mean, I look at him as more of a nickel. So yeah, I don't I, I don't know what Steve Wilkes wants. You know, it's that's true. You know, that's like true. he might want someone bigger. At nickel, mm-hmm. so that's what some uh, D coordinators want because they want like a run defender there or whatever. Maybe they want Isaiah Oliver in there or Miles Hart's Hartsfields in there, and they yeah. want Samuel Womack outside. I have no idea. I was yeah. thinking tight end as one of them. I know it's not a huge need because you have George. It would Kittle, be in my top really... five. I mean, it's a killer class of tight ends. They might be able to get one of them where they're at. Kittle's almost thirty. It's about they're like three years overdue from getting a, a quality yeah. number two tight end, especially with how the season it like you really want to be the team that puts Tyler Croft and other backup tight ends in important positions. Then get a guy that wasn't freaking inactive 11 times this year. You understand? Like get someone good. I thought that's what Charlie Warner was supposed to be, but he was like a six round pick and he didn't really work out. He, he came from Georgia. There's a dominant running team. Get someone with some real. uh gifts that would be one and then um offensive tackle i know mm. they got zakel last year they got mckivis they got trent williams that's it they need they need more they need a fourth guy it seems to me they got four guards they got banks burford feliciano and more they also have two centers in brendel and feliciano i think they're set in the interior but at, at otak at ot they got trent williams colt mckivis and nick Zakel. And and uh, that's it. So I think an offensive tackle is like they definitely got to draft one, and the higher up the better. And I would think they're gonna take a linebacker pretty high, somewhere between round three and round five. I know people like McCrary Ball, um, but I don't know if they're just gonna hand him the the job. And I don't think they look at Demetrius Flanagan Foles or Owen Oren Burks as anything more than special teamers. So I think they're gonna go for a linebacker. What? It's funny because you mentioned Zakel as a tackle. I think they might view him as the future center. Maybe, but I think I think Brendel's the center. They they gave him a long term contract. They got Feliciano. Yeah. Like Zakel's never played center. I think that was a they were they were flirting with it. But again, he's six six. I think he's built more like a tackle than a center, and he played tackle in college. And I know the Niners like <laughs> drafting a guy and moving him to a totally different position. But I'm just saying. He might, they, um, he, he's built very similar to Colton Kivitz, but he's a better yeah. athlete. I think he might be able to beat out McKivitz. Yeah, that's a possibility. I think one of the things that we're going to see a lot, and we saw it a lot last year, and I remember there was a lot of conversation like, how are they ever going to get continuity by changing this thing every other snap the way that they were? We're going to see the same thing because I feel like there's four or five guys that can play multiple positions, and they're going to figure out where these guys work best, what, what, you know, pairings work better with other, they're going to figure this thing out. I mean, you know, you're going to see probably Zakel at th- two or three different positions. 
you might see Burford at tackle and guard, Moore at tackle and guard, uh, Feliciano at center and guard. I, I just feel like there's multiple things that we might see this year until they get it all figured out. I feel like wide receivers a need as well. Like you don't know how long Ayuk's going to be on this team. Like Debo Samuel had a discouraging year. He's he could bounce back. Jawan Jennings. How much longer is he going to be on the team? Ray Ray's this got year. one more year on his contract. Like yeah. Danny Gray showed nothing, like literally nothing. They, they could use another wide receiver. You got 11 picks. I mean, you could take a position, one of every position. So I think wide receiver would be maybe not the, the highest, but it's an important position. You can get good players in the draft, even in round three, and it's offense. That's another one. Yeah, and they, they've they also got to start looking at a use check replacement at some point, and there is that Jason pullback Pope. out of... North Dakota State that had a perfect RAS score. I mean, that's that might be the guy, you know. It's true. Um, yeah, I think they're Jason Poe was sort of for like the Trey Lance offense. I think yeah. they were trying to go Baltimore Ravens and he was going to be their Project Pat DeMarco. Is that his name? Project Pat DeMarco? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But now they're I back forgot to about Poe. Oh, yeah, shoot. I mean, yeah. he's going to get some run too at one of the interior spots. So, yeah, there's a lot of Jeez. Also, this quarterback, I mean, the Niners got two injured ones and Sam Darnold. Uh, you always got to be looking. They had a private workout with Dorian Thompson Robinson, which I find interesting because that's like a whole day and you dedicated it to him. I, a lot of people would think the Niners aren't going to draft a quarterback, but oh, they are. They're at least thinking about it. And I don't know, maybe this guy goes round seven, maybe he goes higher, but seems like the Niners are looking at quarterback as a position of need. I, I think that they, they first of all, they're going to need some sort of arm in camp. You need a third quarterback. and yeah, If Brock's not there, right? Yep. Yeah, exactly. And, and I think that a lot of people assume that Sam Darnold can't get cut. This is very Nate Sudfeld. You look at the sure. money that Nate Sudfeld was being paid last year. Yes, Sam Darnold is a little bit more guaranteed. However, the difference is the cap went up. So with inflation... From a percentage standpoint, I don't think there's any guarantees that Sam Darnold's on this roster either. You know, everybody talks about Trey being That's traded. Uh, you might see Sam Darnold get cut if he comes in and just yeah, he only has two million dollars. He only has yeah. two million dollars guaranteed from the Niners. I think that's basically what Sudfeld had. Yeah. Two million. Two, two, two and a half, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if they draft a guy like Dorian Thompson Robinson and he's better than than Sam Darnold, good. I mean, Sam Darnold's a reclamation project. Like yep. Dorian Thompson Robinson doesn't have five years of failure in the NFL that he has to overcome. Like he's <laughs> right. cheerful and undefeated, you know, bright eyed yeah. and bushy tailed. Yeah. So yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, we'll see how this quarterback thing plays out, but I, I would expect that they either draft someone or immediately sign someone right after the draft because that's, that's going to be a position of need as well. They're going to need a quarterback for sure. Can I say something directly to Kyle Shanahan? Yeah, do it. Kyle. I'll Kyle. plug my ears. <laughs> no, you can listen. <laughs> you don't need a running back. You don't need a running back. <laughs> in round okay? three. You don't need a running back at all. You have the best running back room in the entire league. Resist the urge to draft another running back, especially in round three, but any round. I mean, Christian McCaffrey, great player. Elijah Mitchell, great player when healthy. Jordan Mason, I think he could be a hell of, is a hell of a player. And you got Ty Davis Price, too, who may not even make the team enough. And Debo and Ray Ray. Enough, please. Please, please. That's it. Yeah, if they draft running back and they do it again in round three, I don't... I, <laughs> I just don't he know. officially would have a problem at that point. He would have a problem. Yeah. 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 It, <laughs> we're going to have to put him in a 12-step program to not draft yeah. running back. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin Brown says, question for both of you, and please answer honestly. How many people do you have working uh, with for you for content generation and thumbnail making? Zero. Zero. It's, I'm not a corporation. I, I know it looks like I'm balling over here, but I ain't balling like that. I'm balling enough to work for myself. Yeah. Actually, I got Jose. I got Jose, but he's, he, he writes for me. He doesn't do anything for my YouTube channel. He works for uh, SI. Yeah, I, I think I think that's one of the things that um, people people need to understand is that when you get into this, like you need to kind of learn how to do a little bit of everything. It's not just the content. This is the easy part. Coming up with content, it can yep. it can be a little hard in the off season, but 
talking, this is the easy part. It's all the back end yep. stuff, cutting up your videos or making your thumbnails or titles or whatever. I mean, that's all the hard stuff. It's hard. So it is hard. It's tedious. Plumbing guy 42, still the guy. It says report Debo Samuel will miss several weeks due to being overweight from the addiction to Mike and Ike's. <laughs> I just feel like if you're gonna have Mike and Ike's as a candy of choice. Now, I think the reason he was eating them is that they matched his fit, which I think is kind of cool to have like an accessory, like a drink or a, some, a snack grip? that, yeah. that kind of matches. That's pretty dope, and I, especially if you're 25. But you don't have to eat the whole box, dude. In front of everyone, that's a lot of Mike and Ike's. Like, get some Sour Patch Kids like a normal person. <laughs> I feel, I feel get like some Skittles like a normal this, person. Not, okay? not, not Skittles. This, see, this is just a few shows ago. I got roasted for hating Skittles. So let's not go down that path again. You hate them? Hate them. Hate they're so them. overrated. They're trash. Like they're candy corn to you. Like you would just be like past. Like I don't even want Yes. It. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Yes. Cool, man. I'm, I'm trick-or-treating with you next year because I'm taking all those Skittles. <laughs> Miguel says, what's the over-under that Kyle runs Trey week one and the first drive and Debo comes looking like the Pillsbury Doughboy? Oh, man. <laughs> well, I, I would. Debo's going to come in in shape. I've already said that. But yeah, Trey's definitely going to get ran the first drive. Yes. <laughs> Unless Jed says no. Dave Barkley says, do you guys watch the draft? Yeah, I yeah. cover the draft. Yeah, I'll yeah. be in, in Santa Clara for the draft. 2.0 says LeBron has already said he's going to implant Anthony Davis's unibrow if they make a run this year. <laughs> I think Anthony Davis would be down. It's oh, We got you, Nathan. Um, Sorry, there's a bunch that I skipped. Let me get them, and then we'll move on. All Niners says, am I mistaken, or did I see reports of the Niners meeting with first, second round? Guys, in your opinions, if the Niners move up via trade, how will they do it? Well, they got a wide receiver. They got a quarterback. They got a couple of wide receivers. Yeah. A tight end. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, got, they, got, they got things they can trade. They got things. Yeah. You know, it's funny because Ayuk gets brought up a lot. Trey Lance obviously gets brought up a lot. And I, I don't know that any of the players on the roster are going to get moved. I wouldn't bet on it. But if I was going to bet on one, I think Elijah Mitchell might be a candidate because I think wow. there's some value there. He's young. He's inexpensive. For the Perfect. 49ers, he continuously gets injured. If they believe in JP and they believe in TDP and Kyle just can't help himself but to draft another guy, why not Mitchell? I mean, you spent almost nothing yeah. on him. If you can get a fourth-round pick for him, I think that might be a guy that would get moved. I, if anybody. That's, I, a, I could that's see a good him call. I would think, like, yo, get rid of Ty Davis Price, but to your point... I mean, Mitchell should be a starter. He's that good. He's not mm -hmm. going to get the touches he deserves here. He's not going to voice his displeasure public, publicly, but he'd have to be dis displeased. His agent, too. Uh, kind of a Jeff Wilson Jr. situation. Kind of a yeah. Raheem Moe situation. So is there a former Niners coach such as D'Amico or Robert Sala or those two who might want Elijah Mitchell? I mean, or a team like it. Dallas that could use another guy to go with their injured running back that's coming off of a, a serious injury. You look at a team like the Chargers, who they're having trouble paying Eckler. Sounds like they're going to make him play out his contract. So do they just say, hey, we don't really need you. We're going to bring in this guy, and he's going to compete with you and take snaps from you and then be our future. I mean, I feel like there's multiple teams that could use somebody like a Mitchell. Absolutely. Dave Barclay says, what running back are we taking third round? <laughs> Dude. Charbonnet. Zach Charbonnet. <laughs> I have no Adam idea. Adam Peters went to UCLA, played at UCLA. Was yeah. a D I don't think he actually played at UCLA, but he was on the UCLA football team. He was a walk-on. Shout out to Adam Peters. In your you camps, go. has the thought of using AI come up? Came up. I wouldn't know how to use it. Jesse's uh, like always a year ahead of all the technology stuff on me. So if he starts using AI, I'll ask him how, and then he'll tell me. So Jesse, yeah. answer. I mean, AI definitely could can be useful. I think it's still a little bit behind probably what you would need, but you can't really use it for thumbnails, not at least not in the game that we're in, the sports game. And, you know, you Is can Is it going to start writing it. game stories? Well, <laughs> you, I mean, it can write everything, but 
you could use it for titles, I guess. Yeah. You, I mean, you could use it for titles and that type of stuff, but I don't know. I feel like I come no. up with some pretty good titles. So I think I try to put my personality into those things. I mean, my thumbnails and, t and titles aren't good. You wouldn't call them good, but they're me. I think people, at least, they're so branding. You.